Hello, this is Ben at Fitness Beyond 50, and I'm going to get right to the point. This segment is on plantar fasciitis or fasciitis, and that is inflammation of the fascia or the connective tissue in the bottom of your feet. That fasciitis will tr normally be more prominent or dominant in the heel, and it will migrate itself all the way up to your toes. It is very painful. It will make your feet very tired, and it will not make you a happy camper. Is plantar fasciitis treatable? Absolutely. It is treatable to the extreme with laser or steroid injections, and then you'll end up in a boot. Or you can try an alternative and have a massage therapist break up that plantar fasciitis. It's like bubble wrap in there, but it is very, very painful. It is a painful treatment, but that's one of the, all the, uh, one of the other alternatives that you can do. And then last but not least, are stretches and there's some stretches that can help you alleviate plantar fasciitis now some of the main causes of plantar fasciitis is being overweight wearing soft soled shoes without any type of arch support having a tight achilles tendon and having tight calves those things exacerbate and or cause plantar fasciitis how are we going to treat that? I'm going to show you three of my favorite things to do in order to treat your plantar fasciitis. The first one we're going to do is what I ask you, all my clients to do is to take a water bottle, fill it up, put it in the freezer. Once it's frozen, place it on the floor. What we're going to do is you're going to put your toes just up to the pad on your toe, drop your heel down, and roll that water bottle forward, spreading the toes in the upper position. Reverse, back, the heel is down. So as the heel is down, you're what? You're stretching that Achilles tendon in the calf also, rolling that water bottle up, spreading those toes. Now what's great about this, with the water bottle being frozen, it helps to calm down that inflammation caused by the plantar fasciitis. Remember, itis means inflammation, inflammation of whatever the root word is. So, once again, rolling it backwards, the heel is down, toes are up, stretching them out. Good. It's nice and easy. My water bottle's kind of getting away from me. I'm going to just switch to the other foot just in case you didn't get it. So, my heel is down, my toes are on the bottle, and I am rolling the bottle forward. As I get to the top position, I spread my toes out to the best of my ability, and then I reverse the process, rolling it back, drop the heel down, stretching out the calf and the Achilles tendon, and again, I recommend you doing at least three sets of this, three sets of five, uh, three times per week, uh, five times a week if you have it and have plantar fasciitis, have severe plantar fasciitis. Sorry, as you, everyone knows, I don't edit my videos. I just kind of like to do it raw because it is what it is. So you know that I'm a real person and I am here in your corner. The other stretch that you can do is I call it scrunching the toes. Some people put a sock on the floor. Some people put a roll of quarters on the floor or a little towel, or you can just do it without. What we're going to do is we're going to roll or scrunch the toes. As you notice, I'm scrunching them as hard as I can in the down position. And then we're going to relax, spread the toes out. Bring them down, scrunch them as tight as you can, and relax. Let's do two on this side to even it out. So, scrunching the toes, relax. Down, scrunching the toes. And relax. Same thing here, three sets of five. If it's just moderate plantar fasciitis, three times per week. Per week. If it's severe, five do it five times a week, five reps. I mean, five sets. Oh, five sets of five to ten reps. So listen to your body. Now, Last but not least, if you have a step or some stairs in your home, or you can do this stretch. What you're going to do is you're going to step up on your step or platform or stair. 
And what you want to do is you're going to drop your heels down, stretching out the Achilles tendon in the calf. Hold that for a count of about five seconds. Go back up and relax. Down, dropping that heel, stretching out the Achilles tendon in the calf, holding it for at least a five second count. Then you want to do three sets of five of this exercise also. And relax for the sake of time. And I'm only going to do a few, but plantar fasciitis is something that can be treated, managed, or even alleviated. There's some other treatments online. Feel free to research those. But these three basic exercises that I have just shown you will work for you. Don't forget to consult a physician before you start any type of exercise program. This is Ben at Fitness Beyond 50 saying, hey, seniors, what are you going to do? You're going to get up. You're going to get off the couch. You're going to keep moving. No excuses. Have a great day.